what is up? Captain Crunch here, and today we are drawing Sam Neil. Uh, this video will be a uh, kind of like a tutorial on how I go about coloring in Corel Painter. I got a request from someone in the comments, and I was like, sure, I will do it. And here it goes. Um, actually, right now I'm sketching in Art Rage. You haven't tested it out. It's pretty good for, I like it for just the sketching part. I tried to color in this video, as you'll probably see it soon, that I changed it. I didn't like it, but yeah, this is uh, Sam Neill from Jurassic Park. Uh, I did this same caricature right there in about 2012. Oh, it was bad. Yeah, I didn't really know much. Uh, I was actually on YouTube looking for tutorials and all that stuff, and that's what I got. And uh, what I learned from then is to uh, make sure you take your time when you're uh, doing these caricatures, especially if you're trying to go for more of a rendered out, more realistic, you know, type of drawing. Yeah, make sure you uh, take your time. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is me trying to do an art rage. I didn't like it, so I switched it back to Corel anyway. Um, but yeah, so uh, what I'm doing, I'm just throwing down the colors according to the reference, taking them right from the reference photo and putting them on my drawing. I'm um, just laying the base down first, kind of getting a feel where everything is, laying it in different shapes. That's how I see it. And that's when I was researching on how to do caricatures and coloring and all that stuff. I was, you know, some of the people were like, you know, look at his shapes, different shapes, the colors are in different shapes, and that's what I did. Um, when I start coloring, I usually, after I laid the base down, I do a, like, a more detailed blending and stuff, and I usually start with the eyes, because once the eyes are in, it kind of starts to bring the picture together. And, yeah, I mean, it's not much to it. It's not like, you know, it makes sure you practice a lot, but I'm mostly just blending. You know, I have my opacity set down to, like, 12%. Um, I'm using a soft oil uh, pastel and Corel. Not the uh, one that says real soft oil, but the one that just says regular soft oil pastel. The real one, uh, yeah, it's real, but it's it, it feels like it's too grainy, and I wanted more painting type of thing, so I put the rest, restoration down, and I put the uh, bleed down on this to zero, so it's more smooth, and uh, just make sure your opacity's down, and all I'm doing is, after I laid the base down, I'm taking the colors again, once again, going over the top of my... Uh, base colors and just softening and blending together and just going section by section um, I mean that's it really I mean there's not a lot to it just make sure you practice a lot because if you saw from my previous photo that popped up um, I did that whole drawing in probably an hour or less I didn't take my time on I was just trying to rush and get it out and, and especially if you're not doing anything for a client or anything you don't need to rush. Take your time. This one took me six hours. I took my time. I mean, I didn't get too detailed. I probably could have gone and done, like, you know, different skin blemishes and wrinkles that, you know, I didn't have, I didn't want to do all that. that that'll take way too much time, and six hours is enough. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's all I did. <clears throat> Uh, just make sure, like I said, make sure you're practicing a lot. And blending, you know, little sections. Don't go too big. And make sure you're going in the flow of the face. You make sure when you're blending, you're going in the direction that the face is going. So you see his head's kind of slanted down. So when I'm painting, kind of paint downwards, you know, and kind of go in the flow of the face. And just paint what you see. Make sure you have lots of reference photos. Um, I had about seven. A couple I would use on this main screen I'm recording, and on my second screen I got, I don't know, four or five more. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. You don't always have to do you know, background with the body. I mean, mainly you want to get the face down. 
and once you get the face down and then you can start incorporating their bodies and the face and their the backgrounds and stuff like that I didn't even do a full body I just did kind of like the upper torso and uh, and added a dinosaur and all that stuff in the back I'm trying to do that with my drawings just to kind of implement some backgrounds and stuff but if you're just starting focus on the face and um, if this is the you know how you're going if you just the type of style you're going for then yeah make sure you, like I said take your time and test out Corel Painter I mean maybe you like using the uh, the watercolors or like the uh, acrylics that they got in there I like the pastels that's just I, I don't know the uh, painting like the watercolors and stuff it seems too complicated <laughs> and I don't you know I don't feel like learning how to do all that maybe eventually I will um yeah I mean this is pretty much it this is kind of the end of the video um the background I just blocked in the colors I didn't even go into detail um yeah so if you uh if this helped at all or can give you some insight of kind of how I'm doing things um then yeah that's good and then uh, just leave a comment in the comment section below uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Like the video. And if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment box. Alright, thanks for watching.